Hello again everyone, and welcome to another Mon May tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to export to GXC, how to edit the GX.Games page for your game, and how to test your game and play it. Let's get into it. The first thing you'll want to do is install Opera GX by going to opera.com slash GX. Simply download the installer and go through the installation process. Once you have Opera GX installed, you'll want to sign in with your Opera account or create a new Opera account to use. So what is GX.Games? Well, GX.Games is the place where all your GXC exports go to. In our example, we uploaded Notice Me Lina Senpai, which is a game I worked on with Yana. And we're going to take a look at that in a little bit. So how exactly do you export to Opera GX? Well, at the top right, you can set your target to the GX export. And doing so, when you click the Create Executable, you'll get a sign-in notification to Opera. Clicking it will redirect you to an Opera sign-in page on the Opera GX web browser. So fill in the details for your Opera account, click Sign In, and wait for it to process. It'll automatically redirect you or actually inform you that you can now go back to Game Maker. So if you close the window after this, it should continue the process. But sometimes you do get an error. This is usually because the project or the project name you gave to your project already exists on the Opera GX server. So, the solution to this is to go to your game options, click on GX.Games, and then change the game name to something more unique. In this case, a lot of people probably use testing as a default for testing their games. For our purposes, we're going to just change it to something like testing GXCGG for tutorial or for TT. This will ensure that it's unique enough that no one else will have this name. If you then attempt to create an executable again, and you're signed into Opera GX on the web browser, when you click sign in, it'll automatically go through the sign in process for you and continue the actual process in Game Maker. You'll see the progress bar, and then finally, it'll complete. You can then click this button to continue editing the game on GX.Games. Now that your game is uploaded to Opera GX, you can check out create.gx.games. And here you can see the two games I have uploaded to GX Games. We have the test one and we have Notice Me Lina Senpai. But for this tutorial, we're going to check out Notice Me Lina Senpai, since all the info is already in here for us. You can set your description, the title of your game, along with any other information like screenshots, videos, anything that you want for the game. Here we have the screenshots, the icon, the video. We can actually set a video here if we want to as well. And in the metadata, we can set what type of genre this game is, the tags associated with this game, and several other things. You can check out the whole page on your own, but the most important part is the publishing. When you first upload your game via the GXE export, your game should show up here as the very first version, and it's usually private by default. In order for other people to play your game, you need to make it public. But for testing purposes, we want to keep it private until we're sure that the game is ready to be released to the public. One of the other things you can do is to add a challenge or to check the statistics of your game. In this case, notice me Lina Senpai has had almost 63,000 plays. So GX Games is actually a great place to showcase your game and if people like it, they'll keep on playing it. You can check out the notice me Lina Senpai page for a better example of how a GX game looks on GX.Games. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again in more Monmay tutorials.